Hello, my beautiful collective, and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to be finding out what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend, or foe. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your support to this channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, so, oh, if anyone would like to book a personal, all information on how to do so is in the description box below. So before we get into your reading, your overall energy, um, I have a download for you guys. Okay, so um this is to do with a loving situation however okay so um i got the one that got away and the one that won't go away so for some of you i feel like there's someone that got away from you or you got away from them i feel like it was something that you know was always meant to be or you always really wanted to be with this person or you know you just i feel like it's like the love of your life um and you know like when you're separate from separate from somebody there's a lot of signs symbols synchronicities from the universe and a lot of like learning and things that you have to do in order to kind of understand why or who this person is why they're in your life and da -da -da. just like you know absence makes the heart grow fonder okay but the one that got away i feel like you have a chance to make things right with that person then you have the one that won't go away which is the cock block energy that is trying to intervene to stop you from being with the one that you are supposed to be with okay there's someone that you really don't like you don't have feelings for you don't pay this person any mind any attention you have blocked them from everything there's no way of this person contacting you but somehow they find a way to um get back into your life but it's always when you're about to reconcile with someone that you actually really want to or supposed to be with i feel like you have confirmation you know that someone is your person you want them uh maybe for some of you you're already in a connection and there's just this like this random ex from like years ago that just won't leave you alone okay um so you could be dealing with a gemini um because in their reading they kept on getting that bugaboo energy like it's in their love readings their generals were fine but their love readings it was like there's just that one person that just won't leave you alone. It's like, I don't want you. I don't like you like that. I'm not even attracted to you in any way. Because <laughs> I feel like somebody has your heart. There's someone that has your heart. And it's just like, my love is just for you. It's just for them. It's not for anyone else. If it's not them, then it's no one. I've never understood that saying there. It's like, if I can't have you, I don't want anyone. Because it's just like, well, then does that, does that mean if you have me, you want everyone too? Like that, you know what I mean? When you break down that sentence like what does that really mean um it's just like if I, I i feel like it should be if i can't have you i don't even feel like if it's if it's like if i can't have you then i don't want anyone else no isn't that the saying anyway no it just should be i only want you and no one else there we go <laughs> on from that okay, let's just move on let's move on people all right but yeah the one that got away and the one that won't go away okay but i feel like with the one that won't go away they will just just don't pay them no mind because they want your attention so the objective is for you to be distracted so that it prolongs you from being with the person who you really want to be with so when that person or that energy shows up just ignore it okay that is just the best way i can say because you know once someone has your energy then they can amplify it and and you know manipulate it and so just ignore that person and focus your attention on the person that you really want okay so the overall energy we have for my beautiful collective however is oh so magical so this is really beautiful and at the bottom we have the oh so naive okay so when i first saw these, saw these two cards the first thing i thought is someone doesn't believe in magic okay so i'm getting like a muggle energy okay so i did do a reading for scorpios which i think was um called your magic amongst muggles so you may want to watch that okay if you have Scorpio placement or just watch the reading in general, you don't have to be a Scorpio for something to resonate, okay? Because, you know, we have houses that represent all the signs and yada, yada, yada. But with the oh so magical and the oh so naive, I also feel like somebody here, um, someone could have manifested something, but they didn't actually believe in their manifestation. Like, you know, when you do something, but you don't really have the confidence that it's really going to go your way, but you're just like, I'm just going to do it anyway. And I feel like... um. I'm hearing like I stand corrected. So I feel like 
something that you put out to the universe or something that you try to draw towards you is actually happening it may have taken a very long time as well but it's kind of like oh my goodness like this is real or this really happened or magic is real i feel like you if you didn't believe in magic you will now okay now you could be that magical person that somebody was a bit naive about someone kind of underestimated you your skills your talents your ability someone just didn't think you can conjure shit up the way that you do so i feel like you're going to blow someone's mind you're going to blow someone's mind with your um enchanting energy okay so what is coming towards my beautiful collective i don't know why i feel like dancing some of you could be listening to music dancing you know just feeling the vibe because I, I i don't even hear a song in my head i'm just you know so i'm, I'm getting that you're going to be jumping for joy also but you i'm getting like you're in the vibe or you're going to be vibing maybe there's somebody somebody that you want to vibe with so music could be very therapeutic okay maybe the magic is in the music so maybe some of you are understanding about music the music industry subliminals that music spells and when you think about things it's programming you to to um when you listen to things sorry it's programming you to think in a certain type of way because of the influence the frequencies the different tones that they use the music in um represents different things okay there was a frequency that music had to be made in but then they stopped it and they they changed the frequency and that's one of the reasons as to why the music today is very like sexualized but it's it's a um there's a but you know do your research because i can't remember the exact terminology to explain it to you guys but you could be digging deep into that okay so I, you know with the oh so naive it's, it's almost like wow i didn't even know that you know oh my goodness no way is what i'm hearing because yeah underneath that we have oh so simple so i feel like something like has a really simple explanation or do you know what I mean you didn't think about something in a certain type of way so maybe you kind of feel like my goodness i was so ignorant to this or somebody was very ignorant towards you or something that you was trying to explain to them now we have i am expressive that wanted to fall out now at the bottom of the deck we have i am intelligent exactly so i feel like you are exercising your intelligence um you could be researching and really finding out about a lot of things okay again you could be researching about magic and what it really is to be a magical person maybe you actually have experienced magical powers or you've actually seen it and you're like oh m jesus okay but i'm expressive so i'm hearing to say what you have to say express yourself express your creativity okay you also may be hearing from somebody as well so let's see where this is going and then gorgeous we have i am filled with creative ideas exactly so there is a lot of things on your mind okay you've got a lot of downloads a lot of inventive ideas work on those ideas work on those ideas and affirm them with the i am expressive as well because again that could be um you know the power of your um affirmations you know maybe you were naive to certain things like because you know when you do something consistently you will find that there's there's a huge difference but something is it's all about repetition the eight of swords you have to continue to do something so for example your affirmations if you've got like a little altar and you light your candles every day you say your affirmations or you you know you do your little um card pulls at the beginning like on my altar i have like a little um jar with affirmations in that i wrote myself that i pick out but you know when you do that shit on a daily basis and then things start happening. You're like, oh my goodness, I pulled that affirmation today. And at the end of the day, that's what happened. Wow. You know what I mean? Or you've been affirming something and then you, you're finally seeing the results. I just feel like you're going to be absolutely kind of like flabbergasted over something that you have done or something that somebody else has done. But it, I feel like whatever it is, it's just something so simple. It's, it's something to do with the way that you express yourself. This doesn't necessarily have to be like talking. This could be like, you know, writing or drawing or something to do with symbols as well. Okay. So maybe you're realizing how powerful symbols are. So you're incorporating symbols in your environment. Okay. Gorgeous. So we have I am vigilant, which is at the bottom of the deck. Yes. Yeah. So paying attention, paying close attention to detail, really looking around really trying to focus on how people express themselves as well as well because you know everything is body language so maybe you're trying to read someone's body language oh you know what they always do this when they talk about this they always look to the left when they talk about that they look to the right are they lying you know what was going on i don't know there's also someone that's really watching you so yeah i'm hearing you need to see something to believe it but you're someone is about to see something and if they were a non-believer 
with the oh so naive, they're about to be a believer, okay? Honestly, underneath that we have I am confident. Yeah, so be confident in yourself and in your magical abilities. I feel like you're a very magical being. And that is going to be proven, okay? So gorgeous energy. So please clarify I am expressive. Please clarify I am expressive. Look at this beautiful energy. We have the lucky one. So I'm saying all you need to do is say something and your luck will change. Again, affirmations. Maybe you're saying, I am lucky. I am lucky. I am surrounded by luck. I embody the energy of luck. Okay, whatever you're saying, it's, it's coming into fruition, okay? But I feel like your luck is really going to change in a situation. So be very happy about that. Okay, yeah, we have the sweet talker. So I think it's all about your voice. It, again, the tone of your voice. So like if you turn your voice down a little bit and you start to talk sweet, you know, people may be more inclined to listen to you or more be, you know, you can get more of what you want when you speak like this because it's like a very soothing tone. So I feel like the magic is in your voice. So maybe that's what you're realizing. Like when I talk like this, you know, this happens. But when I talk like this, do you know what I mean? So something about your voice. I also feel like someone just thinks that you have a really sweet, sexy voice, okay? What do we have? What do we have? What does it say? And the funny one. Gorgeous energy. So yeah, I because you know what? In, <laughs> in Sagittarius and Aries reading, I couldn't stop laughing, especially Aries reading. So I feel like, you know, you're going to be laughing at something or really smiling, especially when it comes to something that you have created or something that's, magical it's just like you're just like wow i just feel like you're mesmerized by something or by someone now you also may have the last laugh in a situation but something is very humorous okay you also could be thinking about a way to make someone laugh or make someone smile or make light of a situation like how can i bring positive and uplifting energy into this situation how can i make someone not take this so seriously Okay, or how can I not come across so serious? Okay, and then we have the crybaby that wanted to come out at the bottom of the deck with the cheerleader. So yeah, I feel like somebody could be upset. Maybe someone's upset because they didn't support you. They wasn't supportive of something that you were trying to create because they didn't believe in it or they didn't believe in you with the oh so naive. Okay, so you're like, ha ha, I told you. That's what I'm getting. With the funny one like i feel like someone thought you was a joke or someone thought something was a joke but i feel like you know like we said you need to see it to believe it i feel like someone is seeing something now and ain't shit funny on their side they're not laughing but you are <laughs> honestly now someone could be missing you as well i just feel like someone was very naive in in terms of you or um you know the situation, the abilities. Now, if we go back to the download I got, which was the one that got away and the one that won't go away, I feel like the one that got away, like I said, is coming back. The luck is about to change. Maybe you're going to have a conversation. And then the person on the outside is just looking and they're just quite upset about that. But oh well. Because I feel like everybody had their chance with you and people keep fucking up. So it's like, it's either make something right or leave me the fuck alone. I mean, you know. But I feel like someone does want to try to make something right with you, but I feel like you don't like them like that anymore. You just, there's one person that you're in love with and you're just like, I just want you. I'm only going to reply to you. I just need you. Now, someone just may feel bad as well, like I said, because they were naive to the connection. They were just very ignorant. Maybe they've seen the magic in you, in, in, in love. And you know what I mean? You're going to be happy together. But I feel like tears will definitely be shed here. Okay? On whoever's part, I don't know um because someone is watching you and they're crying or they're watching you and they're upset your luck is changing things are going well so somebody's like a bit salty okay now if you were in a sad situation like i said i feel like something is going to change and so maybe for some of you you're going to experience some kind of miracle and that's when you're going to be like wow like i really believe in miracles i, I really believe in um magic because, you know, I didn't think that this situation was ever going to change. I didn't think my heart was ever going to get mended. I didn't think I was ever going to get this person back. I didn't think I was ever going to get this opportunity. I didn't think I was ever going to get this money. I didn't ever think I was ever going to make it. But you're going to make it. You're going to make it. You're going to feel like it's magical. Like it's actual magic. Because you were just thinking that some things were just impossible. But they're not. 
they're not at all. Okay, so let's just get a tarot message. So we have the four of wands, beautiful energy. This card keeps coming out, could be dealing with the Aries. So I feel like somebody may want to express something to you about a relationship. This could also be something to do with your home life, okay? But I feel like this is a relationship. So somebody, like I said, if this is a loving situation, somebody was a bit ignorant to something. And, you know, I feel like someone feels like you are their lucky charm. You bring a lot of beautiful abundance in their life. If this is a um, situation about you wanting to move or something like that, you're going to get some communication in regards to a location, your environment or something going on in your house. Okay. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Could be dealing with a Gemini. So I'm getting someone's going to break their silence. Okay. Something has ended, like some kind of like curse or whatnot has ended is what I just heard. Yeah, death wanted to flip over, but it didn't fall on the thing. Something has ended or something has changed. And then we have the world that wanted to come up with that. I am filled with creative ideas. So I feel like for some of you, world renowned success. You're going to be recognized by people from across the world. Okay, I also feel like you have learned a lot when it comes to how to build things. You know, I feel like you're just not taking things too seriously with the funny one. Or again, you may have the last laugh in a situation. Okay? So maybe you're going to get everything that you want. And, you know, like I said, there's people that didn't believe in you or they were just naive to the situation. Like, you'll never get this. You'll never get that. That person will never come back. You're, this is not going to work. Especially if you're dealing with someone across the world. I feel like, you know, if you're wondering, will we ever be together in real life? Of course. Okay? If that's what you want, that's what will happen. Like magic. Okay? And oh, look at this. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful energy. So, yeah. If you were once crying, you're not going to be crying anymore. You're going to get exactly what you want. Happiness. I'm getting tears of joy. That's what I feel like this is, especially with the cheerleader underneath that. So I feel like, you know, I just, I'm getting a lot of excitement and um, happiness and fulfillment, okay? Could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? Or a um, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or an Aquarius. No, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, sorry. Um, yeah, but with the Ten of Cups, you're creating magic, okay? This could be something to do with art as well, because I'm getting something about a picture here. Okay, I'm getting something about a picture. So maybe you may sell a piece of art that make my, might make you a lot of money. And again, maybe people didn't believe in your creative talents, and you're just like, well, you know, somebody out there thinks I'm talented, so you can just fuck off, okay? So this is really, really beautiful energy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm just thinking, do I want to clarify those cards or do I want to put a love card? Let's clarify the cards first. So please clarify the world. I just want to know what the world is about. Okay, the five of wealth, so the five of pentacles, so it could be dealing with the Taurus. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, maybe you don't have a lot. You don't have a lot of support. You don't have a lot of money. There's something about your stability that's kind of oohing and ahhing, but I feel like that cycle has closed Okay, I feel like you've been really thinking about different ways to kind of make your life a better place. I also feel like there's a lot that you can do with very little. So somebody also is thinking, well, how do you do that? Is it magic? And you're just like, well, you know, I survive. Okay. There also is someone that's kind of feels like they're a bit left out in the cold. Okay. Someone could be feeling very bitter or they just, you know what I mean? I just feel like someone feels like they're out of reach. So maybe they want to be vulnerable and kind of like bear it all to you. Okay. Oh, I'm just getting in my feelings now. So I feel like there's going to be a very emotional conversation. But I feel like you're going to be really happy to express yourself, to kind of release things. Especially if it's with someone that you love. Oh, stop it, people. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, the chariot test. You're going to be able to move forward. So please come find the four of wands. Look at this beautiful energy. The wheel of fortune. And this is on top of the lucky one in the four of wands. So like I said, your luck is about to change. Some of you may win a lot of money, okay? But I feel like you're going to have a second chance when it comes to something, okay? Something is destined for you, whether it's money, a place, a location, an apartment, or a person. Something is destined for you, okay? So I feel like you are on top of the wheel. I'm hearing as above, so below with these two energies, you know? Someone's in the dark, 
while you have the, you know, because she's got the big wheel there, and, you know, tiny little coins compared to that. It's like, listen, I've got the whole, um, my whole future is in my hands and I'm controlling it. Whereas somebody, you know, they don't really have, there's no growth going on here. But again, if there was a cycle of like abandonment or things not really going your way, that's going to change. If somebody abandoned you, they want to shift that. Okay, they've learned their lesson when it comes to like, leaving things or ending cycles in this type of way it doesn't really get them anywhere so i feel like a second chance is happening here but your fortune your luck is changing so no more tears okay gorgeous energy we have the free of wealth at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with a capricorn no more tears here being recognized celebrated and supported people wanting to collaborate with you invest in you so there is a conversation that is going to be had and again the one that I'm getting the one that got away and the one that won't go away. So I feel like there's two people trying to get your attention. But there's only one person that you that you want to collaborate with, you want to talk to, you want to focus on. This could, again, be like a, a work situation. Maybe you have two different opportunities, you know. But beautiful energy, nonetheless, okay. But yeah, someone didn't realize your potential with the oh-so-naive. I keep forgetting that's on the bottom of, of the deck, so... It is what it is. But a beautiful conversation is happening or a beautiful collaboration or something that you're working on with the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay? Something is going to, you know, go in your favor. So just don't worry about anything, okay? So let's pull the love card for my beautiful collective. Oh, good Lord. Sorry, too many cards keep coming out. You know, we just want one. Two keeps coming out. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, I just want one person or I just want to focus on one thing. You know, it's just, what's going on? Okay, so we have the spiritual beliefs. It says culture clash, different perspectives and enlightenment. And then we have the sweet dreams at the bottom of the deck, which says visions, daydreams and fantasizing. Yeah. So I feel like something that you've been dreaming of, you've been fantasizing is about to come into fruition. I'm getting the feeling is mutual. So if you're thinking about someone, they're thinking about you. Okay. I feel like maybe you have, you come from a different place or two different cultures. You had two different perspectives on something, but I feel like you've both become enlightened. Okay, and this is what this conversation is going to be about. But someone is thinking about you, they're dreaming of you, they want to, like, merge with you is what I'm getting. They want to merge energies, okay? Because underneath the sweet dreams, we do have the retrograde, which says, blast from the past, memories, and missing you. And then, yeah, the past life lovers and the long distance lovers. I mean, so, you know, something is coming back, something is resurfacing. So, yeah, with the spiritual beliefs, this is what I'm getting, and the oh so magical. Someone didn't believe in magic. They didn't believe that. I feel like someone felt like you were too good to be true. Or the situation is too good to be true. But it's not. It's like, I'm so sorry I didn't believe in you. Or I didn't believe in us. Or I didn't take this seriously. Or you know what I mean? Well, now they do. Now they will. Now they shall. Okay? So, what is the important message that you need to know? So, my beautiful collective. Oh, it says you're doing your best, okay? So just know that you're doing your best with whatever it is. And if you knew better, you'd do better. Yeah, this is this person on the outside, this, you know, if they knew better, they'd do better. And maybe this is what this person wants to say as well. Like, I've learned certain things and now I want to do better. So that's really beautiful. So growth, gorgeous. And then we have, you need to embrace your inner sexy, okay? So that's what the divine wants you to know. And you deserve the very best, you do, Okay? So, and your magic is working is underneath that. So this is what I'm trying to say. I feel like if you didn't believe in magic before, now you do. Or somebody is very convinced, okay, in your magic. But yeah, you deserve the very best. And that's exactly what you're going to get with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay? Only the best will do. Yeah, underneath that, we have the magician. You know you manifested this. You know you manifested this. You manifested. Okay. So, additional information. Please and thank you for the beautiful collective. Okay, well, this card is not supposed to be in this deck. Goddess of protection. So, you are protected. Because that card is not a part of this deck.
Okay, and then we have selfie. It says someone is stalking your social media. And then we have fierce at the bottom of the deck. It says your confidence intimidates people. Oh, well. Okay, so yeah, being confident, being confident, be confident. I feel like your magic intimidates people and they're very jealous. The envy card just keeps showing out, but we're not going to dive too deep into that energy. Okay, but yeah, someone definitely is stalking you. They're watching everything. And like I said, I feel like there's one person that's missing you and they really want to speak to you. And this is why they're watching you because they miss you. And that's fine. This person admires you with the three of pentacles. They want to have a conversation and you're going to be very happy when you speak to them. I'm getting a lot of laughter. I'm also getting tears but like happy tears for others of you there's someone salty that's watching you because they've lost out oh well and <laughs> oh well man you know what i mean that's all i have to say about that and then it says you attract what you vibrate and then it says stop playing small yeah stop playing small you know, embrace, magnify yourself, Am not magnify, well, yeah, amplify yourself, okay, be out here, let everybody know I'm here, okay, take up space, you know why, because you make a difference at the bottom of the deck, so yeah, you make a difference, so with the oh so naive energy, it was almost like, I feel like someone didn't realize how much of a difference you make, you made in their life, or how much a difference your magic or your creativity makes, it's a huge, like, you're a huge deal, you're a big deal, okay, with the um the wheel of fortune i feel like you have the power to to change fate maybe that's your birth card you may want to find that out okay so you bring good fortune so i feel like if people fuck with you their fortune fucks up okay so that's why you always need to be careful with who you're dealing with but like i said somebody understands that now with the oh so magical at the bottom of the deck somebody understands how magical you truly are we have virgo that wanted to come out it says number six mercury chiron earth health cleanliness wisdom logic perfection and service okay and at the bottom of the deck we have wajet she just this is the third time wajet is making her appearance goddess of protection it says protection defense spy vigilance security and state so we got vigilance here twice so there's, like I said, there's someone who's watching you because they're protecting you. And there's somebody else who's a snake that's watching you. I feel like this person also may have an inkling of who this is. So this is why, because I'm getting that you have two energies that's watching you. But one energy is a bad energy and doesn't mean you any good. And the other energy is like a beautiful energy that's very protective over you. And we do have the psychic underneath, which says, Sia, clairvoyant, aware, preternatural, telepathy, mentalist, inner knowing, and mastermind okay so um i think that's it i don't think i want to pull any cards because my legs are hurting so thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the reading please not hesitate to like share comment and subscribe toodles